Well, I was not expecting that. Now, this made it into my top 10 most anticipated movies of the summer list. I think it made it in at number 7. And, um, you know, I, so I, obviously I was really, really excited for it. I love this concept. You know, it's a movie about the apocalypse starring, you know, a bunch of today's um, modern-day comedians. But, you know, the, the catch is they're all playing themselves. And um, it's basically about all these celebrities, all these, you know, famous comedian celebrities as themselves surviving the apocalypse. And, you know, that kind of idea has been pl has been toyed around um, with before. You know, there's been Last Action Hero uh, being John Malkovich. But this was the first one, I think, where, you know, most of the, pretty much all of the, ca the cast, all of them play um, themselves. And, I mean, there's some of my favorite comedians. And so, obviously, I was expecting to have a really, really good time. And what I got was one of the best times I've ever had in my fucking life. Seriously, I am not kidding right now. This movie is incredible. Not only is it one of the funniest movies I've ever seen, it's the funniest movie I've seen in theaters, and I've seen The Hangover in theaters. I'll explain this later, but I know there are going to be a lot of people who won't seem to believe that that, that won't be all it is. I mean, yes, it's a gross-out movie. Yes, it's vulgar. Yes, it's about the apocalypse. Yes, there's a lot of, you know, comic gore and slapstick, but that isn't all it is. And if you're a fan of these guys, if you're a fan of these people's movies, then I think you'd know what you're t I'm talking about. Now, like I said, I mean, this, this movie stars every modern-day comedian in the world. The main actors in this movie are Seth Rogen, Jay Baruchel, Jonah Hill, Jason Segel, Danny McBride, and Craig Robinson. And there are, is a plethora of, you know, other cameos by modern-day comedians, each one of them being hilarious. Every single thing they say in this movie is hysterical. Each one of them is on, at their top notch. I mean, they're playing themselves, so basically their goal is to basically, you know, play a little more extreme version of themselves and basically give their own, you know, trademark brand of humor. And it is in top notch, like I said. I mean, it is in full form, and they are absolutely hysterical. Each one of them has their moments, and not one cast member is wasted unless maybe they were in it for like two seconds or something as like, you know, a surprise guest. I could go on for hours and hours, and I have, about the funny scenes in this movie because every other line, not, I won't even say every other line, pretty much every line is played for laughs, every line is hysterical, everything that happens is just hysterical, and there's not one dull moment in this movie. I really did not want it to end. And, you know, I know Judd Apatow really has nothing to do with this movie, but, you know, as you can see, the main characters are pretty much, you know, part of that Judd Apatow pack. You know, at least Seth Rogen and Jonah Hill are definite members, and then, you know, there are a ton of other, you know, definite members that, who make, you know, appearances in it. And then other people like Jerry Baruchel and, you know, Danny McBride and Craig Robinson, I mean, they're not official, I wouldn't call them, like, you know, definite members of that group, but they're kind of, you know, branches, maybe like, sort of in that family, but not really central, you know, members of that group. I mean, that whole Judd Apatow crowd is, it's just my favorite, they're my favorite people working in Hollywood, you know, honestly. I could watch any of their movies and just instantly feel good. And it, I mean, this movie really reminds you of that. It reminds me how much I love you know, comedy movies, and it really, if you're not even, you know, that familiar with this Judd Apatow pack, at least if you know these people, it will remind you why you go to the, why, why you go to comedy movies to laugh, why you keep going. I mean, it's not just for laughs, especially with these people like Jonah Hill and Seth Rogen. They really mean something to you. They're about friendship. They're about relationships. They're about some family. They're about something, and that's exactly what this movie is. I don't care how gross it is. I don't care, you know, about, you know, how vulgar the jokes are. This movie is a is more than just that, like I said. So, I mean, watch Superbad. I mean, Superbad is a raunchy comedy, but don't tell me you don't feel a little, you know, bit heartwarmed when you see the end of that movie. And I talk a lot about Judd Apatow, but, you know, these are the writers of Superbad. And, you know, they know this. They know that comedy isn't just for laughs. You really have to relate to it. And, you know, you can I can relate to these movies... Um, even if, I, if I'm not like these people, I can still relate to them more than most movies I see. You know, I've never seen Dazed and Confused. I know it's one of those classic movies that I've never really gotten to for some reason. But whenever I hear people talking about it, I always hear that, you know, however, you know, whenever they watch it, they feel like they're hanging out again, you know, with their friends. Like, they can connect with these characters so much that, you know, they feel like they're hanging out with their friends again. And that's what I get when I watch this movie. That's what I get when I watch Superbad or Knocked Up or 40-Year-Old Virgin or, you know, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Those kinds of movies. And it's really the best feeling. 
And that brings me back. That makes it so I really don't want these movies to end. It never gives me that feeling like, oh, yeah, I kind of want this to end. I mean, it's a great movie, but, you know, I, I wouldn't be mad if it stopped. I was pissed when it ended because it ended. But honestly, the ending of this movie, oh, my God, might be the best ending. Ah! Might be one of my favorite endings ever, and it just leaves you off feeling so good inside. Really, this is, I'd say, the feel-good movie I've seen of ever. And I can't just ignore that and say, oh, you know, comedy 8.5 out of 10. Guys, I'm going to give this a fucking 10 out of 10. I don't give that rating out very often. You know, I've only given one other movie so far this year that rating, Place Beyond the Pines. And I'm serious. Place Beyond the Pines and this are in a battle of which one's my favorite movie of the year. But yeah, if you haven't seen this yet, please see it on, you know, a weekend, like a Friday night or Saturday night. Try to get it with a packed crowd and laugh your balls off. And if you don't feel awesome after watching this, I don't know. I, I don't I don't know. Please, guys, please see it. I absolutely loved it. Bye.